Hi, I'm Joanne Banco from Let's Go Sew. Today I want to share a few simple swimsuit trims for you. So let's talk about swimsuits. Maybe you make your own, maybe you buy ready-mades. These two are actually ready-mades. But you know, it's really fun to buy just a basic color and then shop for swimsuit fabric and add some easy trims. So I'm gonna show you three different ones. I'm gonna start with uh, a ruffled trim. So imagine that. Let's say you have a little swim skirt, swim skirt and you wanna add just a little extra pizzazz to it. This is a really easy way to add a little ruffle. Maybe you've got a swimsuit that has um, straps like this one has you know, that go along the back. Well, a really hot technique is to make a whole bunch of turned tubes and then crisscross or lace them together. So you can, you can do a lot, of, um, a lot of different things with that. You can play around with that, but you need to make the tubes first. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then the last technique is very simple, just um, a little bit of edge binding. So this is something you might use on, again, on the edge of a skirt, maybe on the edge of some straps, or maybe as an insertion in some areas if you've got um, a blocked uh, area on your swimsuit, okay? Let's head over to the machine and we'll get going here. It's really important to use all-purpose, polyester thread when you're sewing on swimsuits because you want something that is going to hold up to the stretch factor and also something that is um, color fast. So that's very important. I'm going to use elastic, uh, clear elastic, and I'm going to use that to actually ruffle this. So let's start with that. I've already basted those layers together just to make it a little bit easy. And I'm going to be working from the wrong side. And I suggest when you make this that you make extra length because it's, it's a little bit tricky to hold on to all these layers as you're stitching. So leave a little bit of extra length at the beginning at the end so you can just you know size it then when you're completely finished. I've already selected a triple zigzag stitch and this stitch takes three little stitches each time it zigs and each time it zags. It's perfect for sewing elastic and it's perfect when you need something really stretchy. So again, I'm gonna let that get started until that bites into that. Okay, and I'm gonna just stretch that. Okay, we'll just do part of that so you can see that. Raise that up. And there you go. I've got that ruffle, just like you see here on the finished one, and you can make it as long as you like. You can also zigzag along the raw edge if you, you know, you do two tiers like this and, and create a little, a little lettuce edge. Okay, what about the tubes? Well, tubes are easy to make. I cut my strips two inches wide. I want them extra wide. And the biggest trick here is knowing a couple things. First of all, I'm gonna select a stretch stitch. Select that normal stretch stitch. I'm gonna lengthen the length just a little bit. And I'm gonna create like a, oh, almost look like a little funnel effect here at the very beginning of this. And that's so that it gives me extra room for turning. So then I'm gonna, guide this down and you're going to see I'm going to get really narrow here where I'm running the edge of the presser foot along the edge of that fold. And again, we're making excess here so that we can trim that. It doesn't even need to be straight. We're just going to, I mean, you see, your stitching needs to be straight, but your fold doesn't need to be straight because we're going to trim that off. Okay, let's take that out of the machine. You can see that. And we would then trim away that excess trim away the close to the, we can trim very close to the seam on this, very close, because the fabric doesn't ravel and we're gonna get a good stretch out of this. So trim that away. And I want you to see, look at that stretch factor, okay? That is done with the stretch stitch. And then it's a simple matter of inserting our loop turner and that's why we wanted that extra wide end there so that we can Catch that, turn that tube right side out. That extra room helps that bulky part that we start off with slip right through that. Without that, you're gonna have a really hard time turning that tube. There you go, a nice little tube effect. Last but not least is just a simple binding technique. We're gonna sew right sides together. 
I cut my binding six times the width of what I want my um, finished binding to be. I'm just gonna sew it about a half inch here. Again, we're using that same stretch stitch. If you don't have, it's a very common stitch, but if you can't find it on your machine, a zigzag stitch will work. Um, you'll want to use a narrow, a very narrow zigzag and lengthen it a little bit so that you have good stretch factor. Okay, that all the way down. And if you noticed, I picked uh, fabrics that coordinate with my ready-made suit pieces that I bought. Um, it's nice if you, you know, go for basic colors, but always remember to take your suit with you shopping if you're not making your own suit so that you can um, match that up because colors are sometimes a little tricky. So then I'm just going to fold that under. Okay, there we go. And then it would be a simple matter of stitching alongside that again. And you can stitch um, right on the contrast fabric or just below it because remember we've cut this strip wider. I'll just do a little piece here. And then that's what it looks like on the front. On the back, we've got excess. We would just trim that away, and we've got beautiful swimsuit trims. Be sure to visit the website. You'll find all of the instructions so that you can make your own.